cooking program I'm back in the kitchen again guys give you your favorite dishes food when you love request something guys I have a lot of things to come out next I got some peanut porridge where I definitely want to give to you guys the peanut porridge is man power very important for man and woman anyway today we're gonna show you how you can make some pizza dough it's very important a lot of people would love to make the homemade pizza but they don't know how to make the dough the dough is the hardest bit because you can always buy a bottle of tomato sauce a chopped tomato sauce at any supermarket spread it on top of it get some cheese and put on some pepperoni very basic but the most important thing is how you make the dough today I'm gonna to show you how to make just the dough if you want me to make pizza for you request it guys if you want me to make something for you request it because I've already done half the peanut porridge gonna come very soon someone request the peanut porridge and we're gonna make it for them and we got some color low recipe coming out also again so there's a lot on the menu anyway enjoy the recipe and leave your comments there's a lot of people leaving comments the comments are so powerful inspired thank you very much that's the key your comments is like a key point it's like a key for a lock so guys Thank you very much. You're amazing. And I always say thank God for you. You're great people. So anyway, enjoy the recipe. And today we show you how to make a piece of dough. It's the basic recipe, guys. Easy to follow, straightforward. And you can do this at home with your kids. Also, the kids, they will love it. Summer is coming up. Kids, they want to make pizza. Here it coming up later. Nice. Welcome we'll back in the kitchen again. Well, today we're going to show you how you can make a piece of dough. That's the base. That's just because a lot of people don't know how to make the base, and the base is very important. But what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how you can make some piece of dough right here inside of my cup. I'm going to put half half cups of lukewarm water. Not too hot, not too cold. Just lukewarm. Guys, I have one pack of yeast, which is probably working out to a teaspoon of yeast, guys. And I'm going to show you how you can make yourself some pizza dough. Lovely. Basically, inside of the water, pour the pack of yeast. Just like this. Nice one. Then, next thing, just a teaspoon of sugar, and a pinch of salt, just a little pinch of salt, it do help the yeast to rise very quickly nice put this at the side get a big large bowl look at this a big pretty large bowl inside of my cup I have one cups of plain flour nice one and I'm gonna put a, another cup of plain flour that's gonna be two cups Two cups of plain flour, just like this. So that's the other cup. Nice one. In after middle of the flour, make a a middle of the flour inside of the bowl, and put a little bit of either vegetable oil or olive oil, roughly a teaspoon of oil. Get your yeast. As I can see, all the yeast start to froth inside of it, guys. As I can see, lovely and nice. And after you do that, take your time and pour it in the middle. And take a look at time and fold it over like this guys the rest all of it one time and basically that's 
just like this. Basically, use a hand and work in the dough like this. Nice. Then put a little bit of flow on the surface and knead it in just like this, guys. Nice one. So make sure your board inside of your board is clean. And that's what you're looking for. Inside of your board is supposed to be clean like this. So as you see guys, two cups of flour and half cups of lukewarm water. Simple basic roll it in like this on your surface. It's supposed to feel really different. As you can see, the dough feels so lovely. I just want to do this for the rest of the day. If you see the dough feel lovely and nice. Lovely. Then what you're gonna do inside of your bowl, basically, just put a little bit of oil inside of the dough. And just rub it inside of the bowl. Just rub it like this. Get your dough and put it inside of it. Get a clean flame. Cover it like this, seal it tight. And put it on for roughly 45 minutes. Enjoy the recipe. Nice, so it is one hour and 20 minutes now since I have this. I make sure I put it somewhere really warm. I should tell you that before, guys. So let's go inside of it and see. Nice. As you can see, how the door rise. See? Squeeze it down like this. Nice. Then what you need to do, basically, let's put a little flower on it so that's show you something what's going on, guys. Take out the dough. Mmm, feels so amazing, guys. This feels so amazing. All right. So you want to make a pizza because this is just to show you how to make the pizza dough. When you want to know it is a good dough, when you cut it, it's supposed to look like this. So when you want to make a pizza dough, first of all, roll up the dough like this. When you want to make a pizza. Get the dough just like this and use a finger and it 
sometimes you can use bread bread mix nice one so if I go back and get a, a more bigger piece just use a finger Like it tearing it apart. Nice. So this is the way oh you can make a lovely piece of dough. Then what you do you fold the team back, fold the team back, fold the team back, fold the team back. Fold it in back, fold it in back, fold it in back. Like right, this, guys. Yeah, lovely. Nice. Lovely. So this is the way, oh you know, it is a perfect piece of dough. And I want to say it's one of the best dough I ever made since I've been making things for such a long time. But these dough, I'm not going to put them in the bin. I'm going to keep them and I'm going to make something with them to show you guys. So this is one of the best way or you can make piece of dough. And when you cut a piece of dough, you can know it is a good dough. Because when you cut it, you can see it's just perfect. Really perfect, guys. This is just fantastic so i'm gonna make something with this to show you what you can do with this you can make some bread roll with it you can do so many things with it so i'm gonna make something really fantastic with it guys so that's all you can make pizza dough today from chef Ricardo. enjoy the recipe